making infused honey. Um, in one jar I put some, it's called super lavender. It's the best lavender I've probably ever got my hands on. I highly recommend using really good quality lavender if you're using it for anything culinary, which I am. And also chamomile. I found that the combination of chamomile and, ooh, I'm dirty. How did I do this? I found the combination of lavender and chamomile and honey is so amazing in a good cup of hot tea that it's just something I must have during the cold weather months. In the other jar, I'm doing something the way I should not be showing you how to do it, which is I'm making ghost pepper honey, which I love. I give it as gifts. It's delicious on fried chicken. May sound weird, but you should try it. But I should have worn gloves because that, that shit is strong. Pardon my language. Wash my hands really, really good afterwards. You probably heard me coughing a little bit. <coughs> That's because even just the tiny bit of heat, the steam from my kitchen sink faucet was enough to create kind of vapors that would get the back of your throat. It's, you gotta be careful. There's two ways to infuse honey. You can put the honey in it, uh, put the herbs in a jar, put the honey in the jar, seal it up and kind of turn it. You can't really shake it because honey is so thick, but every day you can turn it upside down and then right side up for a couple of weeks and then strain it. I prefer to heat it at low heat slowly because I use raw honey and you know for honey that you're just using for culinary purposes if it heats over um, 95 degrees it's technically not raw honey anymore it's not going to do anything bad to the honey it just won't have its medicinal properties keep it at low heat slow and steady and if you happen to have an infrared digital thermometer like i do you can keep tabs on the um temp this is really easy there's really not much to show you put some herbs in a jar and add some honey and give it a stir i once accidentally put some i meant to make rosemary and something else honey and i accidentally put the rosemary and the ghost pepper honey and it was absolutely delicious it was a cool combination that i never would have done intentionally um, you could just do lavender, you could just do chamomile, uh, you could do star anise and maybe vanilla and cinnamon. Nice and toasty. Well, I've done rose honey, that was particularly delicious. If you're gonna do, um, use these dried herbs, you wanna get high quality culinary, like food grade, organic dried herbs. Don't, don't. Go, don't go get like decorative rose petals and put it in your honey. You could do thyme and rosemary. For now, I'm sticking with, with bleep, bleep, bleep. For now, I'm sticking with my old faithful lavender and chamomile, my mom's favorite, Hylax. A word of warning, if you do decide to go with ghost pepper honey, especially if you have pets or children or adults unaware, it, you want to make sure if you get any little bit of the, um, dried pepper or any of the seeds on your floor or counter, please wipe it off really carefully because if anyone gets any of those pepper oils on their hands and they don't know and they touch an eye or any of our precious areas, it will hurt like a mofo, okay? It will hurt. I'm gonna let this cool and I might have myself a spot of tea. It's technically full, it's mid-October. And as you can see, I don't abide by fashion traditions and I'm wearing white after Labor Day, so.
I will not be putting that spoon back in the honey, just so everyone knows, so they don't get water in my honey. H is for holly and also honey and happy. And here. 